Welcome to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 Definitive Edition. My name is By the Light of the Moon, and I hope you're having a good day out there. So without further ado, let's get started. A thieving opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication, Hub of the Press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open, and now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Does Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my Donkey Derby to Triple X Max in the Red Light District. So... This is going to be another one of those videos where I end up recording the audio later and just recorded video because this mission probably took me two, three hours and nobody wants to watch me fail for two to three hours. And one of the worst things is apparently this mission was made easier in the later editions. Um, they used to start you out in GTA the original like PS2 game with, I want to say 30 seconds instead of 45 or 15 or something like that. It was a lot less. And the mission is sort of a little misleading what it tells you. It's like you need to pick up uh, these uh, stacks of adult magazines to get to the end. But every time you pick up an adult ma a stack of adult magazines, you get one second added to your timer. You do not as El Burrow would have you believe, you need to collect every magazine. And that's a big key they don't tell you, because sometimes you run into problems like this right here, where you just can't because these cars are all randomly generated. And I spent way too much time in previous attempts just going after, like, you know, ones to where I was wasting five seconds to go out of my way to gain a one second advantage. Now you can't hit the ball if you're lucky or really, really good. I watched the video of somebody who did that, you know, because I was so desperate. I was like, I, I, I have to be doing something wrong. And then this one felt worse even than that trial by fire, where I felt with trial by fire, hey, I, you know, hey, I'm, I'm you know, I'm just getting unlucky. Uh, they're not spotting. This felt like, well, I'm getting unlucky with the car placement, but there's not enough time to do this job. But of course there is. It's just really, really tough. You sort of, you know, sometimes you're gonna miss one and accept that. And you gotta be careful here about hitting too much stuff. If you hit too much stuff, the car will, of course, set on fire. The uh, Rumpo here also likes to uh, roll over a lot. So you gotta be careful uh, with returning. I don't know. You know, slow it down using some sort of the like handbrake turns. But yeah, like, you know, that just that one I just missed there would be a perfect example of something I'd stop and go back for later. But I'm spending 10, so 10, 10 seconds to gain one second onto my clock that I didn't actually need. Um, and yeah, you get really close here at the end. Really, really, really close. And it's really sort of, uh, um, nerve wracking. Like, I just skipped all those. It was quicker to go across and cut the corner. But, you know, I don't know if that's in the spirit of the game or if you know, that, that's how it's supposed to be done. But uh, obviously, the game lets you do it, and then you can waste them. I recommend just hit them with the car. Just don't waste time getting out. Just pancake them. But if you're really good at pancaking them, you can pancake them and not hit the other car in front of it. But, uh, you know, I was a little pressed for time here. <laughs> Ultimately, I don't, I don't, I'm not against the premise of this mission. And, yeah, like, and I, like, what I, I, I was so frustrated trying okay, to right shut off I live at home, but pretty soon, like, but, next week, dude, I'm moving yeah. out. Uh, I feel like this one of those missions that if we're in Vice City okay. or San Andreas, the track would be pre planned and it'd be a lot yeah, of fun. Really uh, yeah, though. we should be on the I appreciate that. Just yeah, don't blow up the car between school. here and right, the, uh, we come back from these messages the, that the, help uh, uh, my literature show. We're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. 
A good shoe starts go. from the ground up. At so Eris, we make high quality footwear. In fact, you Don't can find like Eris running kids. shoes in over 140 right countries around time. the world. In the past, there's been some criticism and, uh, about our workers. Are, That's why I'm here at one of the Eris again. factories so you can meet some this of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. Weird guys and glasses. Is there a real sense of team? Sort of daily spurt places. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hit the like button all that sort of stuff if you did and uh, I'll see you next time